Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to go about resolving if you're coming across an issue where it says the location is not available and that the parameter is incorrect when attempting to access an external hard drive, SD card, or basically any hard drive you are connecting to your computer. So likely we'll say location is not available, driver is not accessible, and that the parameter is incorrect. So it should be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I'd actually recommend doing would be to go ahead and open up the start menu, type in CMD, best results should come back with command prompt. You want to go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, you want to go type in SFC followed by a space and then forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run so please be patient.
you can see it didn't find anything, which is good. Another command you can run here would be chk dsk space forward slash f space forward slash r exactly how it appears on my screen. Hit enter on the keyboard. So check this cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time your system restarts? So you want to tap the Y key on your keyboard and then hit enter. So you're going to have to go ahead and restart your computer, so save and close out of any open programs and applications. Let this scan, it will take some time to run, and then once it's done, it'll let you know if it found anything, but hopefully it would have been able to resolve any problems that you were coming across that led you to this video. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.